let me come with your mum. No, darling. Please. Court is no place for you. Your mum's right, Princess. In any case, you got school. I want to help, Mum. I want to support you. Look, come here. Come on, come and sit down. I'll be back before you know it. They'll see me in the witness box and their little hearts will melt. You'll see. You both look like going to a funeral. Thank you very much. Have I gone too far? No, darling, you look great. Look, we just want to look respectable, that's all. We should eat some breakfast. Oh, I couldn't face it. Look, Sharon, if you want to do something this morning, you could look after yourself. Now, go and help yourself. Right, I'll go and get dressed in. What have I done to that kid? Oh, she'll get over it. You just don't think of things like that, do you? They'll find out in school and they'll give her hell. Oh, come on, Angie. Andrew people will get fined every day for one thing or another. Who's going to notice? She will. Anyway, you know as well as I do, if they decide to throw the book at me, I could be inside by tonight. No way. Have you forgotten the charges, then? Driving without due care, without a licence, without insurance, failure to report an accident within 24 hours. Oh, come on, Anne. Stop torturing yourself. But I took it and I drove it away. From your husband, it doesn't count. But if they decide to throw the book at me, then, that's our life in ruins. We should eat some breakfast, Mum. Oh, darling. Why'd you do it, Den? Why'd you change your mind? Yeah, well, I was waiting for that one. Look, I'm not having a go at you. I was fully aware when I walked into that police station of what I was doing and of what the consequences were going to be. I was doing it for you, really, and Sharon. I didn't expect you to come charging in on a white horse and take the blame. And having done so, I didn't expect you to take it back again. I thought you'd clobber me. Well, I very nearly did. Look, I got to thinking. Well, there you were being honest, and there I was making you dishonest. You were right to tell the truth, and I had no right to take it away from you. It wasn't just because you thought you'd get an endorsement. I'm sorry, forget I said that. Nearer the square, maybe. Here. I think that's the answer. Help me. Don't go to college, please. Stay at home with me. What's wrong? Mum's got to go to court, and I can't go to school. Oh, no, Sharon, I've got an exam today. I've got to go. Please. I'll finish my dinner time. I'll see you this afternoon, all right? All right. All right. Look, go to school yourself. Go through the motions. But wish me luck, can't you? Hey, good luck. See ya. Hello, Rowley. You see? They're not back. Oh, they're probably out celebrating. Well, there'll be more than one case anyway. Yeah, well, I can't understand why they wouldn't let me go to court. It's pointless me going to school, wouldn't it? Couldn't work out whether Jim masses or what I was doing. Where's the coffee? It's by your end. Oh. Hey, so how was your exam? Oh, hard to tell. I did better than last time, though. You're more confident the second time round. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I'll tell you what, sit yourselves down. I'll prepare us a fully-fledged gourmet snack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we can go down to my place. Make up for this morning, all right, Sharon? All right. What you got in mind? Oh, I don't know. We'll think of something. <laughs> oh, we can have a game of Scrabble. Why does Ludo grab you? Monopoly? And end up in jail every five minutes. No, thank yeah. you. I know. Nice, quiet game of strip poker. I oh, know. I'll whip down the stool, get a bunch of grapes, and then we can have a nice Roman orange. Yeah, and we can dress Lofty up in a little white tunic, and he can serve the nectar in fancy goblets. Yeah, well, how does that sound to you? Peel us a grape. 